You're at the back. I'm at the back to fuck. Down to Swanee. Shit. Right, lads, what is the crack? Dara Curran reporting live. Well, it won't be live when you're watching it, but live from Galway, the Galway races. You talk about horse racing in Ireland, you talk about a piss up, you combine those both together and the Galway races is the first day on the calendar for anyone who's into the ponies and into the pints. Who are you wearing, sir? I'm wearing... Great to see someone taller than myself. Yes, yeah, just a perfect height for... Yeah, a... yeah, only a wee lad here. <laughs> How are you? Are you even 18? Yeah, Not I am. The smoke in the air and all, don't mess with this fella. Nice. You're already staying the fucking jumper. Who are you wearing? <laughs> Born. Born. I know what that is. Oh, it's such a nice crowd though here. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's fucking happy. It's going to be written lowly. Uh... Right, I'll go easy. <laughs> Bit of a crowd, a couple of gosses in the background. What are you on? The Rock Shore. Oh, Jesus Christ. And the, the shirt spilled. There'll be a lot of beer spilt on shirts today, I'm sure. Anyway, look, plastic cup. I got two cups though, so that's a plus. You know, I don't know how uh, environmentally friendly that is, but what can you say? Uh, I mean, stomach pretty flat, but listen. You're not coming here for a good point of Guinness, I'll tell you that. Tastes grand, like genuinely does taste all right, doesn't taste of any badness. You're talking, you have your first pint, it's always going to be lovely, there's a great atmosphere around the place. It's actually a bit, a bit of stick clinging on to the side to be fair, so I'm not going to, you know, people probably want me to stand here and absolutely say it. I'm not going to do that. The poor young ladies behind the bar are working their bollocks off to, to pour them, so I'm just going to say it's drinkable. And then what? Oh, you would tend to agree. Yeah. I would have done the same thing. Honest to God. That's exactly what I would have said. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what's the story? Eight, seven lads on the rock shore, huh? Ah, yeah. Not a pint of stout in sight. It's a Ross Common thing. It's a Ross Are we Ross Common then? Ross Common yeah. man. Oh boy, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And <laughs> someone give me a name for the next race. Something over five to one and I'll back it. Francis Dunn. Francis Dunn. No, the horse or the jockey? <laughs> the horse. The horse, Francis Dunn. Are you saying to not think? Nah, that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> pop over. Pop over, Rachel right. Blackmore. Yeah, put the fucking house on her, man. I'll pop over and put a few man. bob on it, what? Do, do, do. Brilliant. Right, lads. We are making our way to the track. We have gotten a tip. He's not bad. We've gotten a tip. Rachel Blackmore on pop over. As I said back there, I'm going to use the joke again. We're going to pop over and make a bet. We missed the first race. Second race is in three minutes time. How are we lads? We're going to try to get a bet on. I have a good feeling about Rachel Blackmore. We're against the clock here. I'm not sure why some of them are have lines of like 10 people and some of them don't. Probably shy odds, but I'm just going to go up to this one that has no one. Seven to one, pop over, tenner. No each way nonsense, fucking straight on. Gash, you don't see that anymore. Cold hard, gash. Okay, you're a sterling each. We like the uh, Pop over, six please. No, thank Thanks you. a million, thank cheers. You. They're taking sterling euros the whole lot. These lads don't give a bollocks once they make a few pound. So we've got 10 euro, win at 7 to 1, win returns 80 quid. It's easy as that. We would have shaken hands and kissing babies thus far. I think people are in a good state of, it's only about 3 o'clock. So people have had a few pints, but they're not fucking goosed. We are off, I didn't even hear them go off. Uh, 12 fences to go, so we're not in any rush here. We could be here for like five minutes. Well, come on, Rachel Blackmore. Actually drinking Guinness. What do you want? Hold on, what's going on? Fucking hell, I missed this, the end of the race. <laughs> Blackmore, no? Oh, one more lap, oh, one more lap. Oh, All right, we're grand, we're, we're cruising. Lap. We're lap. What are you on? Captain Morgan's of course. No bother, I fucking 2.46 <laughs> in the afternoon, no messing. Jeez, I have a fucking clue about horse racing. I thought the whole thing was over. Sorry. In fairness now, what would you know about Guinness? Fuck all. Fuck all. Uh, uh, pop over, tenner. Do you? Yeah. Who's she going? Shite. Huh? <laughs> Me too, and he was laughing. I was laughing. Uh, we'll no. see who's laughing in a second. <laughs> How do you go against Tom and Tom really, isn't it? Uh, listen, I haven't a clue about horse racing, so anything you say, I'll go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Who's that? Where is she? Get over! Six. Six. You're at the back. I'm at the back to fuck. 33% of the budget. Down to Swanee. Shite! They get in the car and go home, lads. Yeah, 
Lads, I just want to take a quick sec before the start of the next race to give a massive thank you to the sponsor of the video. Without the sponsors, like I've said before, and I'll say it again, without the sponsors, the channel would not be alive. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. I had to give the old beard a little refresher. I know it's not the best beard in the world. It's a bit of an embarrassment if we're being real, but the Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit is all you need to get the beard sorted for big days out like this. It's strong, but it's also very safe. It's got the skin safe technology that reduces the chances of getting any little nicks on the neck or wherever else you're shaving. I won't judge. And then you've got the creme de la creme, the handyman, which is basically like giving yourself a clean shave, which I wouldn't do because I'd look about five years old, but it gives you a clean shave without all the shaving foam and all the disposable razors that would be cutting the absolute life out of you. The handyman does what it says on the tin. To get 20% off, Plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Use my code points 20 Now let's go lose some more money. What is your name? Rudrani. And who are you wearing? Um, so I'm wearing an Indian outfit. It's called Fantastic. Sari. Yeah. Um, it's all hand embroidery. And it's made by one of my friends back home who owns a boutique. And it took 432 man hours to complete this garment today. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, yeah. And what about the... And the hat, uh, I got it from a lady named Antonia. She is a Limerick lady and she's a lovely hat and accessory designer. Um, so she designed this for me. And did you win any prizes? Surely you um, must have won something. No, I haven't. Not no. yet, not yet. No. No, Thank no, you very no. much. Have a good day. Correct. Just Looking so stylish, fella. You too. You can go you up on the, on the hill then and you, and you look similar. Yeah, I fucking want. The shades and all. No mess with you. Is that the dev suit or is that? Yeah, it is. It is. It, that's why the chain won't. I'm dancing too much. Dancing too much. You broke the chain. So like demographic wise, it's it's like we were saying on the way in. We saw a cameraman. They were saying it's like 17 to 20 year old college students and then Big gap, me randomly here, and then a load of 65 year old proper horsey men who know their stuff. Let's crack, lads. Yeah, let's How go. are we getting on? We are on Bomers. Carlsberg. Carlsberg. That's a unique one. And you? Uh, don't judge me now. Rockshore yeah. Cider. Rockshore Cider, yeah. <laughs> He's on the water. Oh, he must be driving. <laughs> How he's getting on? And he looked in the last race. I had Blackmore myself. Uh, no dice. No, I'm down 50 quid. Down 50 quid after two races. Yeah. I'm just here to supervise, make sure he doesn't yeah, lose yeah. too much. You're the sensible one. And if there's a overall win, does it get split or is it all yours? It's all mine. All right. Well, <laughs> no, he, he'll get a point out of it. He'll get a point out of it. So I'm going to go to the complete opposite side of the betting square or whatever it's called. Oh, now, what's the story? That's a brilliant Guinness. Is it, yeah? That's a brilliant Guinness. I've been Guinness. nursing it for about two hours. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. At least they gave horror, me two horror, cups before. It smells about two hours old, I'd say. Yeah. 5.6 out of 10, maybe. Generous. 5.6 is... <laughs> for two hour old point, it's 5.6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, lads. Shaking hands, kissing babies all day long. Can we get a picture? Yeah, no bother, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, the point's all over you, lad. Did I restart? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Going, yeah, ah, I bollocks, we missed the on. fucking Go race. There, Too famous. Couldn't even get to make me bloody bet. The, the second race, is, or the third race is off. Honey, we'll get on the next one. You yeah. made all the outfits? Yeah. Okay, what is your name? You're the superstar. Uh, my name's uh, Kelly O'Rourke. And do you do this for a living? Yeah, no, I'm a fashion designer. You're a fashion designer, yeah. wow. So can you give me a quick run through? Are you able to pan around, David? A quick run through of the ladies here. Yeah, so I based all of the outfits on their kind of their personality and their oh my own God. personal style. Yeah. And um, then I also I kind of knew what colours they'd look good in, and I then just came up with a design that I thought would suit them. And uh, this is the end result. I'm always fascinated by it. Is, would you call it a hat or a fascinator? Uh, well, this is a crown. A crown. So called a crown. Okay. And, um, this is by Shanice Millinery in Scotland. Wow, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. And you're, you just literally made this from scratch? Yeah, I did. This is my own design. So I designed a pattern draft and then my themes were sent. That is absolutely incredible. Fair play. All looking stunning, ladies. Fair play. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Woo! I fucking. Cameraman Dave, you laughed at me. You laughed at me. Look at it now. What a beautiful day in Galway. Me two euro pennies glasses. They're absolutely filthy. Let's go actually place a bet. See if we can get through the field of adoring fans. Only joking, not really. All right, Dave, speed run, speed run. It's like Martin Brundle on the F1 gridwalk. How are you now? What's the crack? Who are you wearing? 
Who am I wearing? I don't know. The depth suit, no? Uh, yeah, pretty much, basically, yeah. It's actually a very well-fitted suit, to be fair. You're in good nick. Um, I try to do my best for a day like today. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, it's a big day. We have to get properly suited as as yourself like you know. this old thing this old thing I'm not sure about the bow tie it's oh, not too bad it's all right. a little fix but it's okay yeah no, no. sound have a good one walk and talk walk and talk this literally is like the f1 grid walk if anyone watches f1 martin brundle does it before the race oh it's fucking hectic in here lads where do we go we'll just go somewhere close we mightn't make it to the far end right i actually have to look at this thing now so i haven't a clue about horse racing i've put the odd Fiver on here and there in the past. I always just look at the form. So recent finishes, I don't know if you can see that. 5'7, five, 5'3A. Five, I just think, well, if he came first in the last few races, he surely must be good. I haven't an absolute what odds is he? 10. 10, where's 10? 10 is 12 to 1. OJW Legacy. I'm gonna go fiver each way, he's 12 to 1. Right. Sorry, well, can we get a picture of that? Yeah, no problem. Mr. Chantum. No problem at all. He's stumbling around trying to take that picture. Right, walk and talk, Dave. Walk and talk, shaking hands, kissing babies, making bets, drinking pints. That's what we do. I can't remember the name of the fucking horse. OJ Simpson, was it? OJW. He's gone up to 14 to 1. Cash money. Cold hard cash, baby. Five each way. How are you? Five each way on number 10, please. Thank you very, very much. Sir, are you having a good day so far? Are you up or are you down? Are you having a good day so far? Are you up or are you down? Would you, oh, would you even know until you counted after? I oh, know we're down at the moment. We, yeah, we'll uh, hope to improve in the next and year. And are, are you basically hoping that none of the favourites win? Or is that a very silly thing of me to say? Ah, uh, yeah. That'd the, be good for you. If the favourites are beaten, that's generally good for us. You're yeah. going home with a few pounds in the pocket. Well, there are other factors too, but we like yeah. to see the favourites beat. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks okay. a million. Going to make our way somewhere to the front so we can actually see the donkeys running by. I have to say, the crowd has been very, a word my mother always used is very civilised. Well, but I'd say the level of civilised, civilization that's not the right term. Civility, civility. Is that actually right? It's going to decline rapidly over the next hour. People are already starting to kind of stumble around. Oh. And it's only 3.42, so I'd say we'll be getting out of here in the next hour and let the kids run riot around Galway. So it's all coming down to this, lads. 75 quid, gonna be in my pocket. Return place, 90, oh, what's that? Oh, because of each way, yeah. It's a fucking dead search, I just feel it in my bones. What color am I? That's what I forgot for the last race. OJ, oh, manky colors, rotten, pukey, and then black and white sleeves. Number 10, where are they? Oh, you can see them up there, they're fucking flying already. This will be over in 30 seconds. He's definitely not at the front anyway. Uh, middle of the pack, absolutely shite. I see him, bang smack in the middle. Get up, Tiff, fuck. Come on, get up. Get up through the middle. Get up through the middle. Get up a bit. Give me a fucking fiver back anyway. Get up. Useless. Fort, is he getting turned? Is he getting turned? Is he a turn? He could have won third. He could have got third, lads. Hold the phone for the stewards' inquiry. Definitely didn't win, but if he got third, I'm pretty sure I win 19 quid. He came. Did he? Did he do it? Fucking came third. The fucking beautiful bastard. OJ Simpson from the grave. OJW Legacy. I'm fairly certain he came third, and that means I'm pretty sure that means I get 19 smackaroonies. I put on 20, 119, down a euro for the day. A euro for all that fun, I'd pay that any day of the week. Small steps, small steps. Like a fullback in rugby, find the gaps. And we're around this fella. D Kearney, D Kearney, these boys over here. Yeah, uh, you're, you're a legend, thank you. I won 19, he gave me 20, that's me. Dead even for the day. That's what I call a, a free day of crack at the races. Right lads, that is gonna do it for us, myself and cameraman Dave are out the gap before it turns into an all-out free-for-all inside in the Galway races. Didn't know what to expect coming here and it was absolutely brilliant crack. People on such a great buzz, definitely I think the most fun horse racing festival in Ireland. Also let us know down below if you enjoyed this sort of video and we'll go to whatever feckin' madness is on next month. Great crack, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.